everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I am so excited this morning. So if you had seen my last video, you would have known that I had shot with page three not that long ago. And I really wasn't sure if it was ever gonna be printed out. But this morning I woke up and I made it onto the Daily Star. Yay! Yay! I'm so, so excited. I'm just about to go out and pick it up. So I'm just gonna go into any random shop and probably buy like five of them. I'm so happy. That has happened. I honestly, I'm really, really happy. So yeah, let's go and get it. I'm in the shop and look who's on the page. It's me. How excited is this? I'm so excited. Sorry guys, it is a little bit crinkled, but that's because I've been shopping as well. But yeah, if you didn't know, the Daily Star and the Sun are the same owners. So yeah, so this is the first page and then you turn over and then voila, it's me. The new girl on page three. How sick. Can't actually believe this is happening. So guys, so I would just uh, tell you that I did buy 15 papers of myself. <laughs> I had to get them. I'm going to be selling them on my OnlyFans and personalising them and signing them. I'm selling them for $10, so that's with me signing them and sending them to the doors. So, yeah. So I would just show you the little bits that I got yesterday. Um, I topped up on Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I mean, this is just iconic, to be honest, and it really does make a difference to your makeup, and it'll last literally all night. I haven't had this for ages, that's why I thought I'd buy it again. I've also bought a brand new Estee Lauder foundation. To be honest, I've actually never tried this, so I've heard good things about it. I hear it's really, really good um, coverage. Hopefully the colour is okay because, um, don't know. I wear a lot of fake tan so I need to get like a good tan shade. But I suppose I can always mix it with something else. I have bought the best powder on the market in my opinion. It's Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Honestly the best powder. It's expensive but your skin will be looking flawless with this powder. This is the only powder that doesn't look dry under my skin and also it doesn't give me flashback, so highly would recommend. So I thought I would just show you my little misguided haul. So I bought a little like midi maxi dress. I love dresses. Woo, little green one. This will look lovely on. It's thin, so that's really, really nice for the summer. And then it comes with just this string belt. It ties around the waist. And I got this from the petite section, so the length should be smacking. This is the first little dress, the belted dress. I really, really, really love it. The length is fab, and the way it sits on my body, the way it fits and everything looks really, really, really nice. But the obvious problem here is the fact that it's so damn see-through. Why does it have to be this see-through? Like, it could have been such a perfect dress for me to wear, but I don't even think that a new bra would fix this. I think the belt really, really makes it because it just gives you that really, really nice, like, hourglass shape. Yeah, is it see-through? It probably is a little bit too see-through. But yeah, got it, but it's still really, really cute. Oh, I bought a jumpsuit, I think. At the moment, I'm really into my loungewear. That's all I wear is jumpsuits. You'll see in a moment what this actually looks like, but it's just a little jumpsuit. It's thin as well, and it comes with a belt. I think I remember buying dresses and jumpsuits with the belts because I'm really into them at the moment, and they're just really flattering, so. Not gonna lie, this one isn't doing it for me. Most of the ones that I have give me the like illusion that I have, you know, hips, but I don't have hips in this one and I don't feel like it's that flattering on me. But I still wear this around the house, so maybe out to do my food shop or something. I just don't think it sits on me very well. I don't know. It is very basic and it's fine, but it just, it's just not giving me a lot of shape. This is a tie belt midi dress again. But all like that ribbed material. So super duper comfortable. And I just got this in a little like beige color or like a nude color camel colour, I don't know. And it comes with that string belt, so hopefully this looks lovely on. I think I got everything in a size 8 or 10. Okay, so this is the second dress. It is exactly the same as the other dress, really. This has a tiny bit more coverage, as in you can't really see my underwear, but it's still 
a little bit see-through and I just have to be careful what underwear I'd be wearing with this, same as the green one. But I really, really like it, it's nice and casual and it's a perfect day dress. I would personally wear this as a day dress, but you can really dress this up as well. I feel like these dresses are really, really ideal to have in your wardrobe if you're looking for something to just chuck on. But I feel like it should be double layered. That's the only thing that I can complain about. This is really, really different to what I usually go for, but I really am into polka dots and I really, really like to hold an X at the minute. So I bought this one. It looked really, really flattering with my darker hair. Okay, this is doesn't look very nice from just holding this up, but when I try this on, I feel like this would be such a lovely little like jumpsuit for the summer. Okay, so I don't think this one is gonna be to everybody's taste. But I am actually in love with this one. I really, really love it. I seen it on the website, I just fell in love with it straight away. I had to put it in my basket. There's no stretch in this one at all, so I got this in a size 10. I feel like it's a little bit big on the legs, I ain't gonna lie. And it's just going past my feet, so it is a tiny bit too long as well. But honestly, I love the colour. I really, really love this. I really, really do. Oh my god, obsessed. I bought a little dress. This is from the new in section of Misguided, and it's like this flowery pattern. Now the dresses from Misguided are absolutely peng, especially the summer dresses, so it's like a little small dress. Again, I've gone for like the summer attire here, so this is perfect for the summer. I mean, it's doing a lot for the boobs, should we just say. It has like this lot of volume in the top, which is making my boobs look humongous. And it's very, very short, I must say. It is really, really short. Like I could prop, yeah, you can see this. I'd have to be careful what I'm doing in this dress, but it's still stunning. They have like the same design, but like in different dresses as well, like different types of dresses. But I chose this one because it's cute. And it's just more of my style, to be honest. It's doing a lot for my boobies, isn't it? I bought another belted dress. I told you I'm really into my belt. This is belted, but I just took the belt off. But this is so nice. Look at the colour on this. This feels really good quality as well. Like really, it's not thick, but it feels really, really good material. Like really, really nice. I don't think this will be see-through, which is a bonus. So this is the beautiful little blue dress that I knew I would love. When I was feeling this dress, I knew I was gonna love it straight away. And thank God it's not see-through. I was right. So. It just felt like really good quality, it feels and looks amazing. It's definitely one of my favourite dresses. I feel like it's really flattering and I feel like it's worth your money as well. And I feel like this will complement a lot of skin tones as well, which is great. Blue is a great colour. Then last but not least, we have a little top. Now, I really don't know how this is going to look on. It can obviously go one or two ways, but I really did want this. It looked really, really nice on the model just really worried about them cup size but it's really different and I know I'm gonna absolutely ruin this with tan but I just like the way it looked when I seen it on the website so hopefully it looks really really nice on. I completely forgot to try this top on yesterday and it was from Misguided. I literally just forgot. I did mention it when I was holding it up but yeah literally forgot that I literally forgot to try it on so I thought I would just show you now and as you can see it's a beautiful little top it's a really, really nice top. I absolutely love this top. Excuse the way I look. But I'll just show you this coat that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I don't know why, but it smells a bit funny. It's proper cosy. Once I find a coat or a jacket that I like, I'll wear it for ages and ages and ages. Like, I never really switch up my coat much. But I was thinking that I really do need a new coat. And I seen this on Pretty Little Thing and I thought, mm, do you know what? It actually looks alright. Um, yeah, I got this in a size 10, so it does fit fine. It's just really, really warm, but I am wearing a knit little dress right now, so I'm actually boiling. But yeah, I think this was like £55, so I feel like this is really affordable for a, like a jacket like this. I did go on to Opali and purchase some tops. I am in need of going out tops recently, and I just haven't got enough, I don't think anyways. This is the first little crop top. So nice. Love the colour. Um, the cups don't seem that big though, to be honest, so I probably would need to wear this without a bra, but we'll just wait and see in one second. I feel like it's a really, really, really nice top. 
I like that it's long sleeved and it fits really really well. I got this in a size 12 and for anyone with a bigger chest I do really recommend sizing up on Old Polly because it's really really small. I don't know why but this is a size 12 and it fits absolutely fine on me. Um, you can't really wear a bra with this. I've just tucked my bra straps in at the moment but I definitely would need to wear a strapless bra which is no bother really but the only thing with Oh Polly, it's just a bit overpriced for what it is. And realistically, I'm only ever, I'm only ever gonna wear this top maybe three times maximum, and then I'll get rid of it, like I do with most of my clothes. Some of them I only wear them once and I chuck them out. So I don't know. Is it worth the money? I don't think so. I can, I do believe that you can still find tops and dresses on other websites and still look as good as Oh Polly dresses and tops so all that matters is that it looks good so this is the next little top that I got if you've seen my last old poly haul I had a dress that's pink and it feels and looks pretty much the same as this and uh, no it definitely does feel like the same material so this dress is from old poly as well and it feels exactly the same as it does on this dress it's very scratchy on the arms I must say it is really, really scratchy. It is really booby on me as well. Miss making my boobs look really, really big. Um, maybe I should have gone up a size. I did get this one a size 10 to be fair. Like it looks all right. It's just a really, really booby, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm loving everything right now only because I'm really, really pale. Like I'm really, really pale. So I'm not really loving it. My hair's not done properly and stuff. So. Once I properly get ready, I'll definitely, you know, love them more. But as of now, I just feel like mm, they're just quite basic. Okay, so I have to say, this is probably my favourite top out of them. Out of them two tops, this is gorgeous. Really, really love this. The satin is really, really nice. And I think it, like, it looks really, really sexy. Um, love the colour. It's like an off yellow colour, creamish colour. can't really describe the colour. I could probably get away with not wearing a bra with this top, to be honest. Because um, I feel like my bra will just be popping out, so... Yeah, it's cute. I really, really like it. This is actually pretty similar to the old poly one that I just tried on. So I'm just going to compare the prices on screen for you. For anyone that is not willing to spend, you know, a pretty penny. I feel like this top is a great alternative because they're quite similar. <laughs> 